Today we are going to answer the question, what is the true hash rate when using LHR unlock miners? We will be looking at LOT miner, NB miner, G miner and T rigs. After we have found the true hash rate diff percentage, we will be applying it to all the previous results. We will be using ethas miner tester from Team Red Miner to figure out the true hash rate diff percentage. Feel free to go check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. Before we start, I want to ask you to please try and control your anger in case that I am dissing your favorite miner. I don't do this to actually diss you, but to move the focus on quality instead of quantity when it comes to uh, minor updates. But if you really feel a need to diss me, then go ahead, go to the comments, tell me that I'm a naughty donkey, a hairy donkey, or my farts smell bad, but don't expect a reply. Now let's start with lot miner. If we look to the left, we can see one called global hash rate. We can see the actual hash rate versus the average reported and the diff. It's the diff I'm interested in. I don't care about stale. I don't care about anything else. I only care about the diff. Some will argue that I need at least a million shares to have an accurate result or that I need to run at least two days or a week or a year or 10 years. But in the end, it doesn't really matter. It's been running for 10 to 11 hours. That is actually enough to get the lowest diff. And from there, everything will converge in time. On the right side, you can see the different graphic cards I'm running towards the TRM ETH tester. All of them LHR cards, obviously. Now let's have a look at the diff percentage. The diff is minus 2.81 percentage. That means we will need to subtract 2.81% from the hash rate we have from our previous test and in our future test. Those who really love LOL Miner will now be a little bit angry I guess and say that uh, I'm full of donkey poop. Uh, fair enough. But this is actually the result and I use LOL Miner myself in Hive OS with non-LHR cards. And there is definitely a big difference. Even when checking the pool hash rate. In this case flex pool. Now let's move on and have a look at NB Miner version 39.7. NB Miner ran for 11 hours with all the cards pointed to it, of course in LHR mode as well. And again here we have the diff it shows there at 2.91 in this case here. Shows that I've been running for 11 hours. And that the global accuracy is 99.58% which is quite good. As long as over 99% we are good to go and we can use the result. So let's have a look at what the percentage is in case of NB minor. The diff percentage is 2.91% and now I'll most likely hear someone say that it's a known fact that NB minor inflates their hash uh, rate, which um, is not really a known fact because we have evidence of it for uh, non-LHR cards but it has never been tested with LHR cards as far as I know. And also every time I ask for evidence of that well known fact, no one can actually provide the evidence. I usually myself provide the evidence a link to hashrate.no, which uh, actually does test as well, but they do non LHR tests. If you have non LHR cards, definitely go check them out. But also note that some of the versions are quite old now as mine will be as well in a week or two with all these releases. Now let's have a look at G minor. Let's have a look at the diff. It's at 1.3 something, 1.35, 1.36, 1 1.37. Looking at the global accuracy, it is actually insanely high, 99.94 percentage. In other words, G minor development team is doing a super good job. Now let's have a look at the diff percentage, minus 1.35 percentage. Considering that these true hash rate diff percentages also include the fee, then it is under 1% wrong. That is really, really well done. Now it's time to have a look at T-Rex minor version 0.24.6, which has the same performance as 0.24.7. Again, all the same cards running towards it. And as we can see, the global stats are extremely accurate at 99.92 percentage, where the diff is uh, somewhere around minus 2.2 or 2.1. Again, that is well done by the development team. Now let's have a look at the final diff percentage. 
minus 2.16 percentage. That means it's off by 1.16 percentage, which is actually quite good considering the actual hash rate we have measured the different cards at. But don't take my word for it, let's have a look at it. But first we'll apply some rounding to simplify things going forward. After all, 0 0.1 difference is 1 out of 1000, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Now let's have a look at the previous result. The videos for these results can all be found on my channel. First we will add the true hash rate percentage to the very top, and then afterwards we'll start having a look at the different cards. First up is the RTX 3060. So here you can see the reported hash rate versus the true hash rate where we have applied the true hash rate modifier. The two best are still G minor and T Rex, depending on if you prefer efficiency over hash rate. Now let's have a look at the RTX 3060 Ti. The big change here is that G minor is now both the most efficient and the fastest of them all. Moving on to the RTX 3070. T-Rex maintains the performance crown while G minor maintains the efficiency crown. It's time for the RTX 3070 Ti. T-Rex maintains the performance crown while G minor maintains the efficiency crown yet again. Last up, the RTX 3080 Ti. T-Rex minor is now the, both the fastest and the most efficient of them all. I know that this may have come as a shock to you, but uh, this is how the picture is right now and this is definitely due to the LHR unlock features, which may not have been tested as well as uh, the non-LHR unlock uh, ith mining. If you're on your way to the comments now to rage and call me names, then uh, on your way, click subscribe and the notification bell so you can get a notification when I release my next video. That is all for this time. See you in the next one. Or at my front door with you holding a hammer and a saw.